If you were a phoenix coming to the end of one of your lives, what do you think one of the first things that your attention and focus would be on in that time? You'd be reflecting over your life's journey so far, the ups and downs and the trials and tribulations and everything that has happened to you, not in a self-judgmental way or a self-deprecating way, but just in a way to gain awareness and gain clarity on your experiences up to where you are now. Often we feel stuck, lost or confused about our direction in life because we don't have any clarity on where we've come from. We're paralyzed and confused about which way to go because we don't have any clarity about where we are. Your past informs your present and therefore your future. Your future, that's what you're going to be thinking about next after reflecting on your life. If you were a phoenix coming to the end of your life, what's next? Who will I become? What will I do? And that's what we're going to be focusing on in stage two of the Phoenix 90, about your future and defining a vision for yourself. But you tell me, how can you chart a course forward if you don't even know where you are right now? Let's say you want to travel to Dublin in Ireland. And you are in Lisbon, in Portugal. But because you have no clarity on where you are, you actually think you are in Paris, in France. Do you think that going on the current information you have, thinking you are where you are, you think you're in Paris, when you leave on that trip to go to Dublin, you're going to end up where you wanted to be? No, you're going to end up out in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. If you think you're in Paris, but you're actually in Lisbon, you're not going to end up anywhere near where you wanted to be. Well, here's another example. Let's say you're a ship at sea and you're trying to get to a specific destination, some like Paradise Island, some like beautiful place, your dream place, right? But the trouble is you don't currently know where you are or you only have a very vague idea about where you are. How can you plot a course to the place you want to go when you don't even know where you are? You're going to have a really hard time finding that place. You're probably going to end up in the wrong place or worse, you're just going to end up shipwrecked at the bottom of the ocean. And as the navigator of this ship, what do you think the only way to figure out where you currently are is? It's by working out where you've come from, how far you traveled, in which direction and where you changed course along the way. And just like the ship cannot know where it is without understanding where it's been, you cannot fully understand where you are or who you are without having a clear picture of your life story up until now. And you might say, yeah, but ships have GPS these days, so they don't have to even figure out where they've been to figure out where they are. So it's a lot easier for them and there's no need for them to track their course. And that is exactly right. Reflecting on your own life and journey is like you're having your own built-in GPS. It helps you to understand where you are and how best to move forward. By creating a clear outline of your life up until this point, you'll gain self-awareness, you'll identify patterns, you'll understand your journey and you'll learn valuable insights. So this is the first exercise to do, to write an outline of your life story up until this point doesn't have to be perfect it just needs to be a reflection of you and your journey so far when you're doing this you should focus on the milestone moments and also the ups and downs that you've experienced in your life and this might take several hours it might take more it might take less but you can do this over the next few days so just start at the start and list out everything that comes to mind about your life and that you consider relevant to your life's journey Confucius once said, if one wants to run, one must learn to walk. If one wants to teach, one must learn to define the future. You must study the past. You need to define your future. But to define your future, you need to know where you are. And to know where you are, you must study your past.